What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I'm finna turn that man Juice World into a zombie grind step by step tutorial. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. First thing you wanna do. You want to draw the opacity down on the picture. Lock that layer, create a new one. Set your brush, pressure sensitivity if you got a tablet. Move these two numbers to three. And we, first thing we're going to do, we're going to start. We're going to start on the nostril. Come together slowly but surely. I'ma show y'all how to do the do the drip effect too. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we gonna come over here and do the eyebrow. Draw dreads. We're gonna make this, these dreads in the back, we're gonna make them just black. Just so they can be like, like the shadow, you know what I'm saying, since they farther back. Now, we're gonna do our drip effect for the neck. So, where you wanna start at? You wanna start on the edges. Okay. Now, 
after you do that let me show you you wanna start from one side and then you wanna kinda do it randomly you know what I'm saying go a little bit trip make a long one I do that, I do like a little in between one. It gotta be like random, you can't be trying to be too neat with it. You gotta have like its own its own mind, you know what I'm saying?
The easiest way to fill in is just like to follow the edges first so you can make it easier to get around then you fill in the inside. And most of the time when you're doing these zombie grimes, you ain't got to do too many drips. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll still look dope no matter how you want to do it. As long as you spread it out. to the dreads so they just want to look so plain and all you want to do is come up here and just do some lines Okay, now that we, now that we got our zombie, I'm just adding stuff randomly. Okay, now that we got our zombie looking like how we want it to look, let me add one more drip. So one more drip. Okay, now it's time to color it. So what we gonna do? Is. We're gonna highlight everything. Come 
up the object, expand appearance, and then we're gonna click merge on your pathfinder to make everything one. I'm gonna bring the size down so, so I can fit it all on the on the page. So I'm gonna hold shift and alt at the same time. And pull the edges in so I can keep everything in. Like bam, now we got it. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna make a copy of the line work. So what you co you come over here to the layers tool and you drag it to this blank sheet of paper and it'll make a copy so lock the top copy and now we're gonna pick a good skin tone I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna make it a reddish brown okay cool You want to select your rectangle tool and drag it over the, the line work and then you want to right click it go to arrange send to back you want to highlight everything and then you want to click merge then you want to right click isolate select group now we can click this delete that click on to this hold shift to click multiple things at once we're gonna make that darker so they have a a 3d effect we're gonna make the eyes we're gonna make that white Make his hair, make his hair gold. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up the colors just a tad. So I'm gonna highlight every wait 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 before I do that. I almost I almost missed the spot. I want this to be like a see through. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna highlight, select everything. We're gonna switch up the colors a little bit. So we're gonna kind of edit, edit color, adjust color balance, preview it. Let's see. I like that. Like it's kind of like nighttime a little bit. So now we finna shade. So what you want to do? You want to create you a new layer in between, and this where we start with the eyes. We gonna select the eye color. Then we are gonna give it a nice little tint. I think that's that'll be good.
Another thing we're going to do too, we're going to add shadows under the drip. Just so it have a, like a 3D effect. Cause if you don't if you don't do the shadows under them, it'll just look so flat. You know what I'm saying? Another thing we can do is add shadows to the dread. So what you want to do, just select the dread. Put your drop a tool. Pick a, a color that, that's best blend with the dread for a shadow. And then whatever side you, you choose to, the shadows to be on, you want to keep that same flow going through them all.
Now that we finished with the dreads, we're gonna do one more layer of shading, but we're gonna do it under the the first layer of shading. And we're gonna make the skin have one more tone to it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select the skin tone. Now that, that we got our, our second shadow on, we're going to go to Object, Expand, and Merge. I'm going to tweak the color just a, just a little bit. We're going to go to Edit. And we're going to go Color Harmony.
Got a little bling. Now what we finna do? I'm gonna do one more, one more thing before we before we close everything off. And there you have it, you guys, how to make a zombie grind. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this time.